15 inch minimum. Five fish limit. This cove is off limits. This cove is off limits. From the buoys back, it's off limits. All right, get buckled down. Let's get started. <laughs> Submerged points behind Snake Island. There's scattered brush and a hard, rocky, porous bottom. I'm going to concentrate on ledges between 15 and 18 foot of water, sitting the boat out in 20 to 22 foot, throwing a Carolina rig with a green pumpkin brush hog and the tail dipped in chartreuse. All right, let's see what happens.
This is going to be the same fish that you just watched me catch, it's just from a different camera that's at the back of the boat. first stop and I've already got one keeper coming to the boat. Things are looking pretty good. still on my first spot and the Carolina rigged brush hog is working again this is keeper number two
still at my first stop and I'm catching keeper number three it's 7 45 a.m. and I'm feeling pretty good about this this is uh, right on track <laughs> weighing all my fish with the new Bubba Smart Scale. It's a very intuitive scale. It's something I believe all anglers, especially tournament anglers, should have. Once you get to your fifth fish and you weigh your sixth one, it's going to tell you which fish to call. And it's pretty easy, fast, and simple. Not sure what time it is right now, but it's late in the day. I finally moved off my first primary spot to another uh, secondary location that I found with some fish. Still rough bottom, brush piles, uh, boats sitting in somewhere around 22, 23 foot of water. The fish are somewhere in 14 or 15 foot. You'll hear me talking to Chad Deaver. His uh, his boat broke down and uh, um, he has already called the tournament director and asked permission if I could come and pick him up and uh, you'll be seeing me do that here in a few minutes. I'll be catching keeper number four.
Brad Deaver. At this gentleman's dock, he was nice enough to let uh, Chad hook his boat up to his whips. And uh, we're going to load Chad's fish. And then we're going to go back out and let me fish a little bit more before the end of the tournament. Tournament rules do not allow Chad to do anything but just be an observer, passenger on the boat, unfortunately. So he gets to spend about 45 minutes with me. And then we get to go back and to weigh in and weigh in our fish.
five. One for big One for big here? Yep. Three forty five. I ended the day with five fish that went right around eleven something. Uh, that put me in I think eighteenth place out of fifty seven other solo pro anglers. That uh, also puts me in eighth place, I believe, or ninth for the season right now in the points. And next stop is in Palm de Terre, and I'm looking forward to that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, I got a picture already. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, um.